Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Meg Hayworth, Doctor of Transpersonal Psychology, helping women with holistic wellness, uh, women who were sexually, physically, or emotionally abused as children and now have a chronic illness to get well with my holistic wellness programs. That's where we look at the food, what are you eating, so that we can support your biology through your healing. And we look at the environment with what are you putting on your skin, what's around you that might be affecting you and your illness. And then we do the deep inner work that's really necessary to move to the next step when you're uh, talking about um, getting well. So, um, and this is great for people that are, uh, you just kind of hit a wall with uh, where you, you feel like you've done every physical thing you can. You've removed this from your diet and you've added that to your diet and you've, you've done all of the, you know, the environmental things, you know, and you still feel like uh, you're not well. Um, your story is my story. I went through that myself and I got well mainly by doing the deep inner work and by doing holistic work. Um, using the mind, the body, and the soul to get well. Um, I found that it wasn't until I engaged my energy field into the journey and, 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 um, and used that to heal myself that I didn't really get well. So anyway, off to today's topic. Um, for the last decade, I've worked as a celebrity chef in Hollywood, helping people with uh, uh, helping stars to stay fit and thin for camera, um, creating diets for specific conditions. I've worked with Alzheimer's patients to help reverse Alzheimer's symptoms. Um, I've worked with uh, people with kidney disease. I've worked with people with cancer, autoimmune disease, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, um, helping them reverse their issues with, with food and making it taste good so they're going to want to eat it. So, um, And again, that's part of my story. I love food. I grew up in a southern family, and food is a really important part of life in, uh, in the South. And so um, I'm making today a medicinal, uh, a medicinal sauce that you can put on just about anything. Um, and it's very simple to make. I think it's just ridiculously simple. It's just a matter of knowing what ingredients to throw together. Um, so I'm really excited to create this sauce for you. Um, so basically, all we're going to do is I've soaked some almonds. Um, and uh, I soak them to help release the phytic acid and to release the enzymes. Otherwise, all, um, nuts can be pretty hard to digest if they're not pre-soaked. So, and that also softens them a little bit to make it creamy. Um, I'm using my 20-year-old Vitamix <laughs> thing forever. It's, it's cacao warm. I, I use so much cacao. Um, so anyway, I'll put this in the bottom. Now, almonds have, are high in protein. Um, but they're also uh, 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 have uh, carcinogenic uh, fighting effects. So they've shown that almonds, eating almonds every day can be helpful in preventing uh, cancer and um, from keeping it from coming back um, and helping you through it if you're going through it. So um, garlic. Now, I have a little cold, and this is the reason why I'm doing this. I'm making this for myself, and I want to show you that you can make this for yourself, too. Now, garlic is an anti-inflammatory. It is antibacterial, antifungal, and I have knocked out entire infections just using fresh garlic in my food. Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to be putting this on everything. I'll have it on eggs for breakfast. I'll have it on chicken. I'll have it on salad. Um, I can put it on lamb. Although I don't usually eat a whole lot of red meat, you know, just once in a while. Um, at any rate, so here we go. Here's garlic. I have three cloves in here because um, I love garlic, and I want to get more of the medicinal effects from it. Shallots. These also have um, antibacterial, antifungal um, uh, benefits that you can use, um, and I'll put those in here as well. So this is going to be very garlicky and very shallot-y. <laughs> so, and then we're using roasted red peppers. Now, you can make your own roasted red peppers. Um, I've done it a lot, you know, uh, where you just get the red peppers, if you have some sitting at home, you can just put them in a 400 degree oven on a cookie sheet and roast them uh, for about 30 minutes, uh, 20 to 30 minutes and watch them. You'll want to turn them um, because they're going to get charred 
on, on the one side, and you want to turn them until they get really soft, and then you let them cool, and then you take out the seeds. You can take out the seeds beforehand, um, which is actually kind of easier. It's totally up to you. Um, anyway, so I use organic only with roasted red peppers because they are genetically modified, and we're finding more and more that genetic modification is creating a lot of problems um, with uh, health making us sick. So um, here we go. So we just dump, this is a total dump recipe. I mean, it's like simple. So I'm dumping the whole jar in here. And, um, and then um, I'm going to use a little bit of sea salt. Um, give it a little bit of salt flavor. And I'm going to use a little bit of high quality olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I want to use high quality. And, um, just a, a little bit. I don't do a whole lot. Now I'm going to spare you of the sound of all of this being pulverized by my Vitamix, which I highly recommend um, a high speed blender. Definitely recommend that. Um, there are so many different other sauces you can make too. You can make pestos, you can make them dairy free. Um, which is what I highly recommend because dairy can be very mucus producing. It can also produce more bacteria in the body. It can feed the bacteria that you've already got going on. So we don't want you to get sicker. We want you to get well. So I would recommend that if you are going through a cold, you are going through an infection, cut out sugar because that feeds infections. Cut out dairy products because that feeds infections. Um, cut out things with molds. Coffee can contain a lot of molds. Um, I personally use Bulletproof Coffee because um, Dave Asprey has been so kind as to remove the carcinogens and the molds, the mycotoxins, from the coffee in his process. So I find that I don't have the symptoms that I have when I drink other coffees, even if they're organic. Um, so anyway, I'm giving you guys a lot of tips today, so this is really good. So, um, but if you want this recipe and then you get 20 other new recipes, actually there's more than that. There's more like about 30 recipes all told when you get my program, 21 Days to Healthy Eating. It's an online program. You get 21 recipes, one each day for 21 days, plus you get instruction on what healthy eating really is because it's kind of hard to decode. Um, and let me give you a hint. If a corporation is cooking for you, not a good idea. And um, that's why I'm kind of saying, you know, too, even with these, they're in glass, which is good. Um, they're organic, which is also good. This is a 365 brand from Whole Foods, which is also pretty good, I think. Um, <laughs> um, but it's best if you get your own organic uh, red peppers and roast them yourself. It just tastes better, too, when you do it your, yourself. But I understand a lot of people have time pressures. And so making the sauce really quickly is, uh, is the best way to go. So um, now this sauce, actually, this particular recipe I've just shown you, there's a twist in my one on 21 Days to Healthy Eating that is much better than this. But you're going to have to get the program to find out what that twist is. It's really super delicious. You're going to go, oh, Dr. Meg, I get it. Um, so anyway, so adding fresh garlic to your food, adding fresh shallots, fresh onions. Um, if you put it in as an ingredient, it's a lot easier to take than if you're just chopping it up and putting it on your salad. Um, I know some people will take a, a, a clove of garlic and they'll put it on a, a teaspoon and they'll put it with some olive oil and just swallow it. Um, and that's another way to help you with, uh, with your remedies. So um, also there's all kinds of ways to get garlic. Um, I love this particular brand, it's Vitality Works. And this is a tincture. And that one's fantastic and that's helping a lot. I'm feeling so much better. Um, so I'm on the upswing of this little cold. It's, it really started with the fires, with some sinus issues and all of that here in Southern California. We had a big problem with all that. So, um, but at any rate, rate uh, so taking uh, some kind of sauce, um, Another great sauce that I make is the ginger walnut pea pesto. It's so delicious. Um, that also has fresh garlic in it. Um, I do my basil, mint, lemon pesto. That also has fresh garlic in it. So if you get these sauces going in your refrigerator, you can alternate, alternate them and then have them on all kinds of different things. Um, and again, there's more wonderful recipes. Um, in my cookbook, 
um, done with dairy, giving up gluten. It's on my website at meghayworth.com. It's M-E-G-H-A-W-O-R-T-H.com. Um, and there's also my 21 Days to Healthy Eating program, which I highly recommend. It's really a culmination of the last 25 years of my work in helping people heal, um, starting with myself from, you know, I had fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, I had irritable bowel syndrome, I had ulcers, I had uh, depression, which is very much affected by the food that you're eating. Um, and I know that firsthand. Um, gluten was a thing that just about made me insane. <laughs> I mean, I would get irritable and angry and, um, and you know, I've seen it in my in family members too, who also have gluten sensitivities. It's really, uh, really powerful what food can do um, for you, but what it can do against you too. And that's what I want you to start paying attention to. When you start paying attention to your own body and what it's telling you, I mean, it's a feedback mechanism that's constantly telling you what's working for it and what's not. So I highly recommend just starting to notice what am I eating and how is it affecting my body because uh, it'll make a big difference when you shift and change your diet around um, and you can do it slowly you don't have to do it all at once um, if, if you're crazy like I am <laughs> I did it all at once and I'm really glad I did it all at once because uh, it, it, it helped accelerate the healing so it just depends everybody has a different way of approaching um, their wellness so um, again, my, this wonderful recipe, which is going to be a roasted red pepper sauce. Uh, as I said, I'm going to spare you the, the noise of the Vitamix on this. Um, again, let me just go over the ingredients really quick. They're almonds, soaked almonds, and then we have uh, shallots, fresh shallots, and fresh garlic, because both of them are antibacterial, antifungal, and they can help treat your infection. Um, I've knocked out entire infections just with garlic. Um, and then uh, let's see what else, a little bit uh, um, a jar of roasted red peppers, organic only because most of them are genetically modified. We want to stay away from that. Um, and then uh, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of sea salt. And you mix that all up and it's great to cover all kinds of things. So I see I have a couple of people on uh, right now, and would love it if you had any questions for me. I'd be happy to ask, answer any questions you might have um, while we're here. Um, any comments? Um, I'll take some hearts if you want to give me some hearts. <laughs> so I'm going to be posting this video up on YouTube as well so that you can see it again. Um, and again, my website is meghayworth.com. It's N E G H E W O R T H.com. We'd love to have you a part of my 21 Days to Healthy Eating online program. It's really easy. It comes into your inbox every day for 21 days with a brand new recipe, including this roasted red pepper sauce recipe, um, which most of the time when I feed this to people, they can't stop eating it. <laughs> I, I know I can't stop eating it. It's really good. Um, and that uh, the one online in my program has a twist to it. So. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday, and uh, I hope that you can get well soon. All right, thanks, everybody. Lots of love.